Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm still at the uh, Dundonald Community Association, Saskatoon here, and uh, I am with my good friend, Doug. Hey, Doug. Hey, Gary. Hey, thanks for, thanks for being on the channel. Uh, we have looked at your pretty 62 Cadillac many, many times, but now we're gonna get the official story on this. So can you tell me, you bought this car back in, what was it, 1969? Yeah. And tell me the story on this. So you ended up buying this for like, what was it, sixty-four dollars and eighty cents? Yeah, <laughs> it was abandoned to the crown. It was founded at Lorman's Texaco on Broadway, <clears throat> and my father said that car would be a nuisance to the Canadian government. So we went down and asked about it, and they agreed. They didn't know what to do with it. <clears throat> right. So eventually they said. Is it possible for you to store it in bond until we figure out what we're going to do with it? So we did. We stored it in my dad's backyard for 10 months. And then they called us in and said, you can uh, you can uh, basically uh, purchase the car. and Yeah, what they did was they charged us a percentage of the duty that should have been paid on it and credited us for storing it and uh, ended up paying $64.80 for wow, it, so 45,000 miles. <laughs> and it had 45,000 miles on it at yeah. the time. Yeah. So it wasn't that old. So somebody came across the border from Arizona with this car and uh, then he ended up uh, in the clink, I guess. That's right. And this car was abandoned. So uh, yeah, it was a problem. They didn't know what to do with it. But anyways, that's, that's where the story starts. So you ended up with the car in 1969 for a, a small amount of money. And then, uh, well, you got it going and you started driving it. And uh, what happened from there, Doug? Now, well, I've, I've bought and sold it back three times wow. over the years. And uh, I guess after this length of time, it's, it's a keeper now. Yeah. <laughs> And it was restored many times as well. Yes, it has been, yeah. But the last, the last time, time was in 2000. 2000, and it had a Seekins... Sickens. Sickens, sorry. Sickens paint re a job done yeah. on it. Yeah. And uh, the reps were involved, and a and photo they, shoot was Sickens done. paid for it so they could use it for photograph for a calendar shoot thing. Wow, and that was in two, so that's 22 year old paint you guys are looking at. And it shows like it was done yesterday. It's just stunning. That was really good product they put on there. Oh, and they did sure. a photo shoot, where was it? Uh, it was actually, the photo shoot was done at uh, Wheaton at with Wheaton. the Cadillac logo in behind. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I can tell you guys, uh, I have had this uh, car at our shop. I've done an alignment on it. It was a number of years ago, but I was underneath this car. I can tell you it shows as nice underneath as it does on top. Uh, now it is, it is restored. Uh, the seats and everything are all brand new and the top and all that stuff. The engine's been rebuilt. Sorry, what size engine was that again, Doug? 390. 390. Cadillac 390. Is there a chance we could look under the hood sure. there? Yeah, you can see how this car shows, guys. The entire car is, is just this pretty. Original 390, it's got air conditioning power. But it, I mean, it's a Cadillac. It has everything. And it's done to a high caliber. And I want to show the battery off here. You know, things like this, this is all very, very original. Oh, even that little washer bottle. Did, did you always have, or was that, did we able to acquire that, Duggar? Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty, I got it years ago. Yeah? yeah? That's very cool. I've never seen that before. Yeah. So there was other things that happened that attacked, you know, other interesting things that happened with this car. So your dad, I understand, drove this in a parade. No, that was actually my red 58 Cadillac. Oh, red 58. Yeah. yeah. And that one, you, you received documentation from... From John D. from Baker, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Incredible, incredible. We, just, we were just looking at some documents on, 
on uh, Doug's car. It, you had, at one time, you had four Cadillac, Cadillac convertibles. convertibles. Yep. At the same time? At the same time, yeah. Wow. Wow, it's just, uh, it's just stunning. Very, very neat. The little, uh, I've always thought those are little electronic eyes on the uh, dash. They work great. You yeah. pull into an alley and they'll turn the brights on when you would never do yeah. that. You know, they, they just work the, great. The coolest features that these cars had, they're certainly ahead of their time. And Cadillac, I mean, everything is kind of based on Cadillacs. Uh, you know, the term rides like a, drives like a Cadillac. Well, this one certainly does. I can tell you guys that I have actually driven this car, and it, it's there's nothing to compare to. It, the, these are the creme de la creme of cars. Wow. Well, thank you very much, Doug, for Gosh, no sharing problem. your car with me. I appreciate no problem. it. You know, we walk around these cars, and, and if you don't ask the questions, and I'm, I'm glad you shared some of that interesting history with me. It's really cool. Really cool. I appreciate no it. Well, thanks, guys. I appreciate you watching that. It's a little bit of the story on Doug's Cadillac. We've walked around this several times at different events. He shows up at a lot of events with this. He gets out and he drives it all summer long. Uh, but it was nice to get the, the neat history and the story behind it and, uh, you know, share that with everybody. But anyways, thanks very much, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again.